Hello everyone, I'm Jumat and today we're going to see two games, one against Zed and one against Akali later after this one. I will do use uh, I will use the replay features because I believe I can explain more. And if you like this, please leave a like or so. Uh, also, we invaded and he flashed there. Now, this is the first game in Diamond Tree, if I remember correctly. I was four, but I actually have three now again. Uh, and I am uh, against a Zed on mid lane, and I'm playing with a Ring, so I have extra HP. And I'm also playing with Exhaust, so yeah, basically Zed is the hardest matchup for probably most mid laners, and we really dislike that. I mean, if you get Zonia, you can fight that, but if you get it first item, you're gonna lose on other sides. So basically, go Ludens, then maybe Stopwatch, maybe Zonia if Zed focuses you, maybe other items if not. So I'm gonna speed up at times so you don't waste your whole day watching this uh, if it's a bit boring. Uh, basically, what you want to do early on, uh, also I'm playing with Electrocute, uh, basically what you want to do early on is uh, profit as much as you can from your uh, Q-Poke, as I did here, because he can't really do much besides that throwing Shuriken, and if he mispositions as he did there, which I don't understand, you will be able to poke him easily, but remember, even if you're 3 or 4 0 against Katarina, Zed, Fizz, these champions might still kill you if you don't have defensive items. And you'll see that I kind of failed in this game more than I will in the next one. This is kind of a uh, bad game example, maybe. Uh, but the next one will be a very good game. If I recall correctly, I did very fine in that game. It was like yesterday or so, or two days ago. But yeah, I'm doing them later because this is how I manage my time. And okay. I can't really film all the time, so so right now, as you can see, I have nine CS. Uh, lost only one, now two. It's that one, and I'm doing standard, standardly fine, I guess. Not fighting him, uh, but soon enough, it will be some fights. And also, here, as you can see, Kindred will uh, will fail a bit now. Here, I cannot really do much, and I don't see Zed. He could turn on me here, but yeah, there wasn't much I could do. Now, this fight was horrendous because Lissin is coming and doing that and coming from the side and basically that ruins our entire entire thing here and we lost two kills. Basically they have advantage, Lissin catches me here uh, but somehow he ints a bit and Soraka also ints. I don't know, I baited them very hard here and I'm skipping over it because it's not that important uh, because Kaisa got fed and she will later on be extremely fed because of that but towards the learning to Leah example is just walking around the map it's not that spectacular what I did now moving on moving to mid I actually played uh, with stopwatch this game uh, and me and the materializer or not I don't remember actually I don't think I played with me and the materializer I think I played with time of Tony but I don't remember exactly I too lazy to skip it, but still, if you feel that you die on lane against assassins, play with Time War Tonic and maybe Stopwatch 2 if it's someone like Zed who is both is extremely disruptive and annoying. So yeah, uh, basically here he has a lot of farm, but as you've seen, I've actually dealt quite a bit of poke on him and I try to send him to base. He actually mispositioned his Q and W, he did pretty bad. I actually managed to dodge it and then I profited doing my Qs. Basically, if you go a bit aggressive, Zed won't expect to, you know, for you to dodge that. Now here you'll see that I'm start, the camp will start, I will be a bit camped this game and if I see Zed low, I think I can, okay, I can go for it. But without flash, there's not much I could do to live here. So I'm gonna get a bit uh, destroyed. And I shouldn't, and you shouldn't play aggressive, especially if you're behind the farm, and kill, or gold. But things are going to get better, I promise. Okay, now here, in that case, if Kindred came and helped me, we actually would have beat them very hard, because that was like half of my HP or more. Now, here he will make 6, but I will get here and get the Drake. Uh, I will try to fight him only when I have my exhaust up, 
so that's the recommendation or barrier or flash even uh, those are your main tools to deal with it. You cannot fight him without these and It's very very bad to fight him without this. Now here I expect him to W E Q Full ult me and that's why I'm standing like this. He wants to ult me too You've seen that two times. He actually came around and tried to see he's playing extremely aggressive and I'm just like nah, then no, thank you. I'm in a very bad position. I might lose some CS. It's okay. It's okay to lose CS if you don't go 0-14. Again, when he allows me, basically, I'm going for uh, for farm. The rest, I'm just laying back, staying chill. And, yeah. I'm getting a bit of poke here, using my pot. And here he ulted me, and as you can see, there wasn't much that he did. But here, I cannot really get close to the minions. And this is where most mids die. They want to go close and get the sweet, sweet farm. But I'd rather just get the XP and lose some CS than recall right now. Uh, I kind of have a feeling that uh, Lee Sin is not around, but here also I'm getting way more damage. He has, he's having flash. He could simply WEQ me, but I don't know why he didn't do it. He, he might have thought that it's too risky. And also Lee Sin should have dived me here probably with a simple W ult. These are the mistakes that you'll see still in Diamond Tree and Elo like that. Now, here I recalled, and he's seen, here I fake recalled, and he's seen that, and he's coming towards me, but I'm staying like this, I'm staying here, and I expect him to jump on me anytime now, but I'm, I'm keeping distance. You see how much distance I keep? And here I ult, and you can see that if he'd be smart, he'd just full kill me, but... I didn't jump on him directly and here he actually uh, he actually flashed because he used his W and Kindred did a perfect flash there and I actually ran away she wasted her all there don't ask and I was this close to die and <laughs> he actually failed that Q yeah basically I kept the distance perfectly and also that Jesus there is so many things going on here and also I'm flashing only here but he had his Q close to me, he, here I failed W, he, he could have killed me actually if he played a bit better. But then again he still died, and I'm still alive after two ults and a Z flash and rumble flash and chase and a lot of shit, okay? Okay, worthy. Anyway, by doing this and by living and by playing around Z mistakes, also he went bot even though I kind of pinged, uh, I actually got a bit of advantage here because my bot lane backed off and they were actually doing fine and here they will actually 3 man gank me and I will die because again I I worked around the bot but I did the mistake of standing in the middle of the lane and not around the bot lane now here is quite impossible to live as you can see <laughs> the amount of things that come into my head but again Again, with a kindred nearby that didn't waste her ult, it would have been better. Now, kindred died because she wasted her ult, or will die, I don't recall correctly. And yeah, I'm gonna do fast forward. I have my stopwatch up, so I will die this game, but my team will do better and fine. And I will still deal damage even though I die, and I will still try to keep up in farm. I will have a lower farm than usual because of the missing camp and the... Uh, because Kindred died instead of trying to help me. I mean, she went in their jungle and died against Lee. That's a bit bad. Now, here I'm having a Z on my tail. And I'm just, I'm just going off with it. Now, we have our team and we should fight them here because they are kind of separated. And I don't understand why they were focusing that much. The, uh, the crap, but this you know, will flash here if I recall. Yeah. But I think we're still gonna get, yeah, we're gonna get Z because, uh, because actually, I'm done. We're, we're not gonna get Z, sorry. I remember, I misremembered. Uh, I thought uh, they misplayed, and here is another mistake. You see this? Soraka manages to actually, to actually silence, but Z is having full cooldown, so Lulu should have shielded. Kaiza and Kaiza should have jumped on Soraka and we have another kill there. 
Uh, yeah, basically I thought this is a scene where we kill Zed, but it's a bit uh, further on. Uh, yeah, I'm still doing local poke and we're doing pretty great. And uh, they are doing Drake right now. And we cannot do much about it because Kindred is around the top side of the map for probably his red. But it's not that okay though. I'd rather have the the trick because we had we had the necessity we have the abilities we had everything uh, because our so our kaiser is also fed i don't know what i pressed yeah never mind pressed 15 seconds in the past no problem we're gonna do it fast okay here we get a simple objective i have no idea why lisin wasn't nearby it probably he didn't expect it but i was Quite sure he might come, so I was thinking, yeah, maybe this is a bad idea. And then we use it top, and everything is fine. Now, uh, on the farm, I'm 30 CS behind, and as you can see, my items. This is a very important thing against that. You need armor. You need lots of armor early on. But yeah, I actually did a good thing here by uh, doing the stopwatch on his. Uh, on his uh, the Q because we killed him and here Kindred has ult she has ult ready and she has seen the Q but I don't understand why she didn't use it Lee Sin still has his ult he didn't silence her so this is the type of mistakes that you're gonna see in this elo and here I'm going away dealing some damage but uh, I'm still gonna die towards that Still, this fight should have been won by us, by a large margin, it's still won by us, but uh, Kindred didn't uh, use her ult for no, for some reason, and now our bot lane is doing fine, and Zed seems to fail trying to kill our Kai'Sa, basically, their Zed is maybe not of uh, one of the best, but uh, I expect, I kinda expect a Diamond 3 or Diamond 4 Zed to play a little bit better than this, especially in West. Uh, I kind of expect that. Now at this point, I haven't bought many vision wards because right now I didn't have space. As you can see, my backpack is full. I don't have any pots, but I do have armor early on, which is kind of great and keeps me alive more in their mostly AD comp with the five one listen. Uh, because until Rumble deals damage, it's gonna take some time I got here poked for no reason hate it but yeah moving forward seeing Lee Sin here doing a bit of a fail uh, we're gonna kill him and Ezreal I I had no idea why Ezreal did that but this was a very bad team fight from them and here, this is a very bad Q, not this one, the next one, if I remember correctly, is going to be way off. Yeah, I thought she was going that way, but here I just try to stall it, I just try to keep her here as much time as I can so that my TM actually comes and supports me, and Kai'Sa ulted, and there you go, free feed for our Kai'Sa. And everything started by Lee Sin invading and getting caught, remember, their strongest player right now, thought it's okay, it's a good time to invade, but didn't consider the fact that our Kaiser is fed and is nearby, and his ADC is kinda useless, so basically, this game starts to shape like a win, because we scale a bit, and because uh, the jungler fails when it's when he is most expected not to, okay? So we're going, we're going a bit faster, we're going towards that Drake, and we got the Drake, and we're moving still faster here, I uh, catch Rumble, and we're gonna get a bit ulted, but yeah, while I'm going to die, I'm gonna hit Kaiza here, while I'm going to die, they are going to do extremely fine here, and we are taking an advantage, I actually sacrificed for the, a bit, for the bit of advantage that we got here, and because with every fight won that's in that Kaisa, in which Kaisa gets kills, we are actually having a little more adventure and a little more advantage and so on. And with Lulu behind, it's quite impossible for her to die if she plays decent and if Lulu holds at the right time. 
We also have a kindred ult, but kindred sometimes ints, as you can see. And I'm moving backward to my little Tlia. Okay. Get all the farm as you if you can, uh, because especially when you see that Kaiza ints randomly going in their Z and feeds him. Uh, get all the farm as you can from her when she's dead, because, uh, yeah. Here I wanted to do a W, but I think Lulu was seen, yeah, because, because she got creeped by minions, I think. But yeah, here we get the free tower, and we move a bit faster, and here we have an Ezreal that's not going to... Not, this is not going to matter. I did, not, I did not even know that they have a word there. I'm going for the blue. Get all the blues that you can. Okay, I'm going for the blue now. And I think I have a listen behind me, but I don't think he will try much. Now, Kindred is again going for the Z. I don't know why, because Z can actually melt her. Even with ult. I don't think it's a very wise idea. I failed here, the cannon. Okay. Standard farming, nothing to see. That's why I'm going faster. And we caught Ezreal here. And basically, we win by uh, their bot doing fails and their jungler being fed and the only one fed. Now, Gangplank and Kaiza and uh, Kindred actually win now. Which I kinda expect against the Zed and Rumble because Rumble is not fed at all and as you can see the farm difference is huge on top. And mainly the reason that I'm behind in farm is also that bot lane came mid and got the CS from there. Now, if your bot lane is doing fine, I have no problem for them to take your CS. Uh, in this game it's actually fine. But in some games, if your Ezreal is like 0-5 and very under farm, he's not going to be enabled soon. So. If you are a bit fed, you should take the kills and so. Okay, uh, there are there are going to be some fights, but not that uh, not that game breaking. Now here I do a flash, an instant flash, and I think injured now. She didn't alt. She didn't have the alt because she ulted before. Okay, our bot lane doing very well. Uh, right? Okay. And uh, we kind of bait them here, but because because uh, Kindred got this poked with a Z alt here, but she doesn't have alt with a Z alt here, he would have killed them, killed us. And I'm staying here. I'm hunting, as you can see. Going for the scene now, and I failed that. And okay. more fights and here Kindred, uh, Kaiza will die or oh, I thought so, I will die yeah I was the one that was going to die not her but still we're still winning uh, we're still doing fine Kindred is going to come now we have a Z ult on the Lolo which is a thing that I don't understand and we have a kindred in the middle of them that's actually destroying pretty much the <laughs> everyone because she actually farmed a lot and we get all the mid game late game rewards now and we're doing extremely well moving forward doing a quick baron uh, here you should be careful with things like this I'm slowing down because there is the listen and also that is on our support now our support does have alt so we're not that in danger but listen can anytime jump on that word so this is not a fight that's actually looking appealing to us even though kindred has a uh, even though kindred has smite okay we got it with uh with Kaiser's spell actually but as you've seen I managed to I almost managed to stop him solo here you're gonna see Lee dying here me dying here because I kept the Ezreal far away Ezreal could have dealt a bit more damage to my team if I wouldn't be here and Sorak could have 
cornered and so tried to heal me, but me dying there wasn't a bad thing now. Uh, Kaisa did fine here, but the jump into the rumble is not that ideal. I mean, Lulu was a bit too far while she could have healed and helped her. That was a bit of inting on the Kaisa uh, part, especially that she had 10 0. I mean, she gave a lot of gold there. Okay, you're gonna see that uh, Gangplank is having very much fun now because it's late game and the main thing that lost them the game, probably, the point, the turning point, if you'd guess, it was the moment where we fought here and Lee Sin got caught. I mean, technically, Kai, uh, technically Kindred got caught, but you can't really invade a Kindred and expect her to die instantly when her ult is up. Unless you one shot her or you have some kind of stun silence mechanism. Don't mind me, here I'm doing trolling stuff, but again it's turned out fine. Because we actually kind of turned it around. Mm, but no one died this time, uh, Soraka was close to but no one died. The game is about to end as you can see from the replay uh, down there. And we are going to capitalize on the, on the game I'm seeing here that my uh, top lane and jungle are fighting. I tried to separate them, I actually removed Kindred from uh, her ult and keep a barrier between us. But I'm actually one-shotting people now with the damage, I can I can dealt a lot of damage to that, uh, to that rumble. But we are fine, we are fine. I went actually zone a second item as I said. Uh, that armor was the reason that I bought it, uh, it was for the, the armor was for the Zonia. Yeah? Here we want shot Sorak out of the screen and we're gonna end the game right here with a pretty bad score for me, but with a lot of assists compared to their mid laners, so uh, I actually did uh, some footwork around the map, I'm gonna get nuked by Zed here if I remember correctly, yeah, even though I flashed, I don't have time to survive before the game ends. So this is the first one, this is a game in which I played maybe average because I didn't dodge enough games, I wasn't careful enough. So remember in Z matchups if you have Lee Sin especially be a bit more defensive and try to dodge him, uh, try to stay away, try to stay nearby your words and try to keep your exhaust and flash for the Z fights, that's the most important thing. One of those two must be up or barrier, but barrier is not that much of a counter. And as much as you can try to focus on dodging the first Q and E from... No, e it's impossible, but the first Q after the ult, if you can try to dodge it, at least one of the two, because it would be two with a shadow, try to be a bit careful on that. So that's going to be the, the Lia versus Zed replay matchup. And you can see pretty much everything here. And we're moving on on the next game. We're really going to be against an Akali where I will do much better. Uh, see you soon. See you immediately after I'm changing <laughs> this. Okay. So here we are in game two. We're going to present Tulia versus Akali on mid lane. Now, you're gonna notice from this uh, loading screen that they have a Twitch, a Lulu, and a Silver. The, that means they are scaling well beyond uh, anything <laughs> that we can do in the late game, but but actually uh, until then we can uh, try to kill Twitch if uh, if we manage to do that. Now Twitch is actually a pretty good player uh, from the stats, from his stats and from his past games, if I recall correctly. But he didn't play that spectacular this game. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna say, uh, what I'm meaning. Uh, anyway, the, the true thing that we have to do is try to kill him as much as possible early on because uh, because late game, this game is over. Also, uh, we do a small invade here. That's not that important. Now, against Akali, it's a matchup that... That's a matchup where you can get kills. And also here you're gonna see that they're Lulu and Sivir. Yeah, that was a nice flash. But we're not gonna get the flesh out of Sivir as well. Anyway, uh, on mid lane against Akali, you should go Ignite if you can and Electrocute and uh, Minion Dematerializer and Time War Tonic because you can actually kill Akali with good engages. And even if she has ult and you, you, 
you can actually play with it uh, and you should actually go for uh, for uh, mark threads but uh, I don't think I did in this game because it wasn't necessary with the advantage that they had now even in this game you can see that the mid laner failed early on and stood in the Q range now I don't understand but this thing is happening even in diamond tree on west like it's it's quite a good server I'd say and I'd expect people to play good here I actually expected twitch whenever you play against twitch against twitch you should expect the level 2 gank that's why I played like this and you're gonna see he's going to gank me many more times and I did not feed him but look at this look what he did I actually countered it by dealing more damage than he actually dealt to me and I, I procked the potion and I'm fine now now do auto attacks as much as you can on uh, on the enemy and try to kill twitch if you can i will uh for a number of times actually uh but yeah now when she hits six and if you are six and you are both not fed and just standard farming and so she will beat you but uh, also here i actually gain advantage because because she actually mispositioned quite badly she should have flashed long time ago she got the tower hit i just flash uh even though Twitch came, um, Akali failed pretty heavily with that tower shot. Now she might have escaped if she didn't get the tower shot, but yeah. Also here you're gonna notice this, but this is just sad because, <laughs> well, you've seen what happened. Anyway, moving a bit faster, the standard items that I'll go for, oh, okay. He eventually caught him, but as a Twitch, if you get counter jungled, counter jungled early and your ganks fail, it's over. You don't have time to actually scale it, you don't have time to get back in the game, especially against the Lee Sin, against the Rek'Sai, against the Hecarim, Kha'Zix, Rengar. Those champions against the Twitch kinda are kinda doing great. Well, mid game especially when they are shining. But in rest it's fine. Now here, I don't know, Rek'Sai stood a bit too much in the bush. You can see that I went for a secondary ring here. That's important because the extra HP helps you with the level 6 burst and ignite that Akali presents. Now, uh, I'm going to fast forward. I expect more ganks. Uh, but doing this, I actually kind of uh, pushed them both back and dealt so much damage to both they actually lost more than I did in this trade, so you have to expect these ganks. But the Akali Twitch combo early on isn't that strong because Akali has no real way of bursting you early on. It's not a Katarina, okay? It's not a, it's not a Talon. It, it doesn't 100 to 0 you early on. It does at level 6 after her ult, but early on, if you have a ring or two especially, and play with ring if possible, uh, it's going to be fine. The extra HP will help. Now here I did the probably bad word and uh, our Caitlyn also died, so that's not looking great, but I do have a kill which is pretty amazing considering the things. Uh, yeah, and I will fight more this Akali and I will I will kind of do my best. She, she does kind of bad engages, as you can see, probably not the most experienced, but again, uh, even a good Akali, uh, even a good Akali might have problems if, uh, yeah. If the Tulia player plays safe and plays smart with magic resist HP, maybe even, I, I dare to say, maybe even a barrier, but I, I think Ignite is way better in that context because you might get kills on her early on until Sickle. Because Akali, as you can see, is not that. You require, it requires a pretty, pretty experienced player, Akali, for uh, her to be effective. Here I, I bought the book. And then Akali bought Mercury Threads and no pots. Well, that's, again, a stupid mistake. I, I would go against the Talia for at least a refillable. Now I wasted some mana here by missing. And I am a bit ahead. But yeah, bot lane again, it's not doing extremely well. Even though, even though they are quite winning in farm. Okay, moving forward, Akali will make 6 very, very soon, so we have to play smart. Now here I expect Twitch still, uh, and I think, okay, maybe he'll come. But as you'll see here, I noticed him 
on that vision world and here Twitch should have known that I've actually did that and should have worded maybe or not go for the you know for that <laughs> and as you can see here I wonder if I had vision on that one because I don't recall okay so I'm gonna put here to the reds, no, to the blue side, sorry, okay. Okay, so, we're moving faster. Now, he got the vision ward, and as you can see, I could still see this, okay? I could still see him <laughs> going into the bar. Anyway, well, I just went for the free kill here, went for the free, well, I didn't get that one, but I should have. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, let me put back the global fog of war. And by this point, even though Akali is closing farm, I'm actually two levels ahead. Wait, now I'm two levels ahead. And in, if you get advantage against an assassin, well, they are no longer an assassin because you'll deal as much or more damage than them. But you still have to consider that they can both kill you if. Akali has all flash ignite such as now and and also here let's say waves around and she can instantly drop you and jump on you and so on I'm, I'm spacing out a bit but with this red buff there is literally no way I'm losing this and she had flash okay I don't think this is a player that has like one two games on Akali I don't know why she didn't flash in certain scenarios, like early on when I got first blood. But yeah, if you can abuse these things, well do them, because in lower elos they are going to happen. If it happens in diamond then it's going to happen in lower elos as well. Okay, Rek'Sai by this point got some kills off me by killing Akali by, I mean, two times I guess. And so she has five kills now doing pretty well uh, and by this point with a mid and jungle extreme effect it's quite hard to lose even if their silver would get kills a Talia and a Rek'Sai are quite deadly that's a pretty beautiful combo now here I did an extremely aggressive play uh, they turned around but there is not much problem with this. There is no problem with this. There is not many problems. Sorry for the bad English. Because Red I kept Akali away from me and Akali has no chance against him because he's 5-0. And I've actually fought three people now here alone for like how much time? Being a Fetulia, it's beautiful by the way. Now here he comes, he destroys, he eats and I'm actually doing a bit of a chase, Twitch turn around. When you are fed here, Jace starts to chase me, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna make the point in a second now. I think we do mistakes here. Yeah, I die, but it's going to be okay eventually, I guess. But everyone dies here, which is not great. Uh, the only Rex I escaped, and that gold is still on him. Anyway, the important thing is that I managed to actually stay in their ADCs and support for like a very long time because none of them yet have any real damage. Twitch, especially Noah and Lulu, because well, they are Twitch and Lulu early on. That are, if they are not fed, they're not going to do that much. We lost Drake, by the way. But Severe expected way more damage from her, but she came a bit late. She positioned a bit badly. So I kind of helped them a lot there until my team came and turned around. Rexai did a very great thing by not AFKing and coming to defend me from Akali. That was the thing I hoped for and that happened. It was a risk, pretty bad risk that I took because if he didn't came there and understood what I want to do, uh, that would have been a problem. Okay, I've passed like three words now I understand why they back off so heavily. Uh, but... Yeah, no one is going to come here. We're gonna do it faster now. We're gonna do it way faster. They are fighting on mid lane. Now here I did a very good W, but my team died 
Okay, my bot lane is pretty... is dying pretty much, if you can see they are actually the turning point. Okay, dealing some damage here. Just chilling around and seeing that Vex IK might just go for my kills. I try to defend him here because, well, because we would all die. And we killed two people. We killed two people and we fought four. So, do we being the fed people is quite amazing if you play right, if you do it, if you play your cards right, because Philia has a lot of AoE and they are all for squishy. Only Jace can actually deal real damage to Philia in this context. Here I do this. I notice some food. But I'm not going to kill both. I will get the tower though. Okay, so if you're fed and your jungler is fed, you do fight them at all times, especially if you're both playing AP slash bruiser combos or assassin bruiser combos. You can do 2 versus 4, especially in the context if when their counterparts, when your counterparts, mid laner and jungler are like very, very behind. Now here I do a little chase, I've seen Twitch there, I flash for him. Nothing spectacular, just Twitch trolls by this point, even though, even though, in this game, if I recall correctly, all of them, Jace, Twitch, Ali, all of them have good mastery points, per fact, perhaps in 100,000 if I recall correctly, and they are supposed to actually win in the context of their lane, because, well, I do have uh, hundreds of thousands of mastery, but not in this, on, this account, on this account, so probably they overestimated that they're going to destroy me by their best experience that they have, or they think they have. We get another free kill here, we back off. I do not have any mana, so I cannot do that much here, but we will still try Drake, take Drake as fast as we can. Now I am 8-1 at this point. Standard build, by the way, didn't even go for the Merc Treads because even though a good Akali might kill you at 1-5 with, uh, with that items, at this point I doubt this Akali will do much, so I'll just go for full damage, I'll deal as much as I can, and here our team is fighting, but I don't really want to move this. Uh, I want to deal a lot of damage here, which I do. I move around, I pass like three words, but I kind of fucked up here. Sorry for the language. I killed Lulu somehow. I killed Lulu somehow here. I'm gonna back that up because I don't really recall doing it. Let's see. Ah, uh, I think she steps into my E. I don't know. What? What? How did I get the kill? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Did I auto attack him or something? Oh, okay. That was that was Ludens. <laughs> okay, that was Ludens. Good. Moving faster. Moving faster. Going to see more fights. A good, a very good flash from Jace there. I'm still dead. I'm just rolling around, speeding it up. Because it's not really Tilia gameplay, it's just team gameplay. Till I came to the mid lane, gonna see that. Here, Jace did the teleport behind them and tried to kill K uh, Caitlyn and Morgana, but killing Caitlyn and Morgana you won't net you very much gold, as they are 0 4 and 0 5. Your real target as a Jace is not the top ADC or support, is a jungle and mid, especially the fact that, oh my god, that was a beautiful one shot. We should back off to see that, right? You, you want to see that. I cannot really focus that much on doing one shots or talking about them if I talk about something else that's clear. Now, what happened here, you see both of them. This is the real power of a Fed Talia and you shoot that as much as you can because it's so satisfying, Jesus. It's so good. Okay, more rolling around the map, I'm actually going for actually trying to catch that fish so my team can do jungle in a future position I actually take everything here the farm difference is big my jungler has big farm difference compared to their 
counterpart. Now Akali tried to murder here our jungler, but she did not succeed. I tried here to actually kill Jace, but when you miss your combo, you should run. <laughs> and if you miss it first time, the first time you actually can do this. And even though he had red trinket, well, it wasn't enough. Jace is their strongest person right now because I. I consider him a bit more strong slash tanky than Sibir and the only one with real potential to kill me. Okay, doing this real fast, recalling, doing bot, ulting, standard things. Now here, I was a bit misplaced because I missed my spell, but you're gonna see that does not matter, even though their Akali is fed. Yeah, I did not understand why Lulu wasn't with her. I had flash, I wouldn't die, but Lulu might have saved her, that's clear. Okay, speeding it up, because you probably don't want to see boring shit. Okay, uh, I actually missed two Qs there in that Morgana Q. But as you can see now, all I'm doing, or excite suicide, don't need, by the way, you don't need to see that, it's, uh, it's not okay, it's painful. All I'm doing in these things, in these fights, is go around, word, Wait for my jungler or support to clear and just pop someone instantly because I need I need the words to actually do the nasty the nasty one shots because I need to see and I can buy red trinket for that. I cannot buy vision world either because the positioning is required to have a bush a bush for the vision world. So that doesn't work either. So you have to hope your jungler or support comes to help you with the clear. Now this was a very aggressive flash from Teach and a very aggressive flash from me. But as you can notice, he kind of thinks that he deals damage if he flashes aggressively. That's not happening. Not this game. Here I defended Caitlyn and I expected her to back off. We got the inhibitor and we we kind of backed off, but in a way longer way. Okay, you can see my build here if you want. Uh, I went for the Morello then then uh, Rabadons and mm, I think the next item on the list would have been uh, maybe Zonias. Also this is beautiful. Watch this. When you are a Fed Leo, what happens? What happens? <laughs> what happens when you are a Fed Leo? Okay, you've seen that. Basically this is where most of the game ends, but I really want to put that in a faster in a faster way now I'm gonna leave the screen around here I'm gonna do this okay there you go that's beautiful two people killed I should have closed this a long time ago I'm so sorry but still the point stands Prophet Delia is a fun champion to play now as you can see I'm 15-2 now I play extremely aggressive I'll probably die one or two times more but it doesn't matter games heavily over yeah we're not going to finish here I think okay kill that move around the map more now this was an excellent positioning if if my thing actually succeeded but it did not so gonna speed it up 40 seconds of dead timers nothing important nothing impressive to see still 15 trees a pretty good score <laughs> as a Talia I'd say more farming more than relevant farming and we're going to go for the end game soon uh, my TM is very keen about doing the top inhibitor which is a good thing in a game in which the score isn't this <laughs> like 10k gold difference you don't need in solo queue especially if you have a good rex sign a good top laner at least three players out of five they are good and they have at least three players that aren't that good or four you can go and push for the mid lane especially if the nexus is open just i feel going for the top in keep here is just a waste of time and you could just push kill someone and go for it but yeah getting one shots here I will show you that again because you probably want to see it and I'm a jerk for speeding it up this much. Here I knew my team was starting Baron, I knew Twitch was around but I also kind of seen this world and expected someone else to come. 
So I'm just going to put it at the standard uh, speed. Yeah, it's the ignite is kind of wasted here in these scenarios. If you have enough damage to kill it, Twitch flashed in the pit, failed and died. Even if it took Baron, game would have still been over. But still, you can see here the desire for them to actually push top, which is kind of mind-boggling. I mean, Nexus is open, I'm like, fuck it, I'm going for it. And this is why I'll die, I think. Because I'm like, nah, I wanna end here. One more kill. On the Jace. <laughs> Not on the Lulu, that was a prank. And yeah, Akali will murder me here finally, after all this time. I think it's her first kill on me. But the game is over, doesn't matter. So yeah. In lower elos, I'd expect Zeds and Nakali to play like this guy did. In Diamond 3, I don't really expect him to play like this. I expect him to play a little bit better. So, kinda shouldn't have happened. She should have killed me on lane, maybe. But Talia is a very good champion against LeBlanc and Nakali, maybe. Against champions that do not have spells like Katarina that needs channeling or instant burst or so. Akali needs to build up her burst if she's not overly fed, and you can follow her and you can kill her if you play accordingly. If you have a ring, if you have two rings, and if you have, uh, maybe you can see I sold them by the way. Don't ask about the last items that I bought, it's there random. Uh, you can actually fight her, and especially on lane, after she misses uh, her E, I think that's the dash that jumps on you, not the ult, after she misses her engage, you can actually go on him f on her full ham. You can poke her with your Q. If she's below half HP, she will not kill you before you kill her, especially if you play a bit smart and do your Q and ignite and auto attacks properly. And E. A Katarina might. A Katarina might, but Akali doesn't have that much burst, especially when she's not fed or that fed. So that's for it. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed my seminar. I hope you enjoyed my guide, my Talia guide. I hope you enjoyed the fact that I presented two games in which I fight a Z, not that well, and in which I fight an Akali that well. And still, Twitch kind of camped me here, as Lee Sin camped me in the last game. But Twitch is not Lee Sin, and Akali is not Z, so the burst is a bit different. And it's way more easier to fight against Twitch if you're smart about it. A lot of Talia die, Talia players, a lot of mid laners actually die on level 2 when Twitch hits 2 and ganks mid from the red or the blue. A lot of people die on mid lane, because it's simple to actually gank as a stealth champion. And most people by now should figure it out that Twitch players will gank mid, and will camp mid, or do the level to gank somewhere. Good players will probably not do ganks mid, because they expect the mid laner to expect them. Understand? So, yeah, against Twitch be careful early on on the ganks, because, yeah, it's a Twitch. So that's it for now, I really hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time. See you next time guys, bye.